Okay, we're gonna make um, our own homemade sriracha and the first thing you want to do is peel four uh, cloves of garlic. So I've um, I've done two already. I got uh, two more to go and that's the first thing we're gonna do, okay? Next thing you want to do is get one pound of these jalapeno peppers and half a pound of these serrano peppers. Okay, you're gonna next thing you want to do is cut Cut the stems off. All right, so here we go. All right, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to need three tablespoons of brown sugar, one tablespoon of uh, salt, and half a cup of vinegar in this project I'm gonna use apple cider vinegar that's organic that I bought at the Whole Foods stores okay the next thing I want to do is I'm also gonna add half a cup of red wine this is a, uh, a Syrah um, red wine and I'm just gonna put half a cup with the blend to see how it goes Okay, we're ready to blend. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add everything into this blender and we're gonna blend it until it's really smooth, all right? Let's do it. Okay, the next step is we're going to have a jar about this size uh, with a wide mouth open so we can pour our uh, sriracha mix into this jar and leave it for three or four days for it to ferment. So let's do it. Okay, now we're done. We can cover it. You could either use a saran wrap to cover it. I'm just going to cover it with this thing. Um, I'm not going to airtight it, uh, I'm just going to leave it like that because during the fermentation there will be bubbles that will come out and I, I want it to have a little escape from the jar, okay? So I'm just going to leave it this way. And then um, you want to store this in a cool dark place. Cool dark place, okay? Alright. And uh, we'll take a look at it again in four days. Alright, see you guys in a bit. Okay, after one week, you can go from four days to one week. Our sriracha is now ready. As you can see, that's how it looks. Okay. Guys, we're gonna pour and strain our sriracha now. Okay, this is about it. So this is what's remaining. We're going to discard all these. Okay. Then the next step is we're going to grind this up again.
there it is our own homemade sriracha I tried it on my dish today it was really good so try it see if you like it